Good afternoon and welcome to Crestview High School. It is the 22nd annual Leland Smith Insurance Lady Night Invitational Volleyball Tournament and we are in semi-final action. This will be semi-final number one. It will be the home Crestview Knights and the Ottawa Glendorf Lady Titans. My name is Mark Shine. It's my pleasure to be play by site play. Alongside your color commentary, Mr. Dave Bowen. Dave, Crestview, rather easy opening round matchup, but Ottawa Glendorf struggled and they're right back on the floor. Yeah, Ottawa Glendorf takes care of Fort Recovery and Crestview takes care of Bishop Lures, semifinal action. Mark, it's great to be your wingman. Yeah. This Invitational has been a highlight of the volleyball season. Outstanding programs, outstanding teams, state ranked teams, let's get after it. And Claudia Mag will open up service for the Titans. They are in all blue on the right side of your screen today. And the opening hit from number 12, Adeline Figley. And we've oh. got a Titan in the net. Yep. OG was in the net there. So Addie Figley on the right side. She's part of the big three for Crestview and Gregory Etzler and again Figley. They do a lot of hitting for this Lady Knight squad, which is off to a 15 and one start, six and zero oh in the Northwest Conference. WBL style, Ottawa Glendorf. Overall record, nine and seven, but in league play, they are undefeated as well at six and zero. Oh. Also six and zero. Oh. We're tied at one early on here. Set by Gregory, and that hit out of the center was by Maya Etzler. Maya, Two one. Yep, Maya Etzler second on this squad in kills with 138 coming into today's contest. The Ashland Eagle bound volleyball player from Crestview, Maya Etzler, the senior at 6 2. Can you see Gregory is serving? Bellman will set. Sienna Fry. Hit into a blocker out of bounds. We're tied at two. Sienna Fry, the left-hander right there. She leads OG with 188 kills. Nice attack right there to get the point for the Titans. Sienna will serve. She has 27 aces on the season. Gregory will set again. And that hit is by Callie Gregory. Callie Gregory set up by her sister Casey Gregory. A bit of a lineup change for Crestview as the second setter for the Knights, the Lady Knights. Emily Lickley unable to be here today because of a family wedding. Why not throw the freshman in there and have her set out of the blue? <laughs> Throws it up to her sister. Knows where her bread is buttered right there, Mark. Here's Maya Etzler to serve. This hit will be by Katie Kaufman. This will be Callie Gregory bouncing into a block. Bellman sets again. Play in the back row by Figley. Back row attack, Fry. Figley got it for you. Got the floor, but got double contact. We do, and that will tie it at three. Our officials today on the stand is Steve Trout, and our R2 on the floor today will be Ann Ellerbrock. This will be Ella White to serve. And our line judges, Mary Alvarez and Ashley McClure. Gregory, that big hit goes to Callie Gregory. Back and forth we go, 4-3. We see two great spikes, one from Fry, from OG in the, from the back row, and then Callie Gregory. Gregory, the versatile player, the quarterback from Crestview. She sets, she hits, and right now we've seen her hitting rather effectively. Josie Kalwicki served that ball and played that one before it got to the floor and hit it over. Bellman will set again. This is Claudia Mag, and she goes down line and gets a point. Dynamite down the line for Mag. She gets that kill right there for the Titans. Nicely done. And neither team has been able to score off of service so far as we're tied at four, and Bailey Krause will serve. She in the white uniform. Ball's tipped over by Gregory. Boy, you like those tall setters. She picks up some kills out of that position as well. Figley, 5-4. Yeah, we saw Figley hit it from the right side on the first play of the game. There she goes from her more comfortable side, the left side, and gets the point with the kill. Here's the senior, Callie Gregory, to serve. Good hard serve. Bellman dumps it over. And Gregory pushes the ball to the back row. Something else she's very adept at. Here's Kraus. Figley. And for the first time, we have a point scored off of service as 
Alan Figley put that one away. Yep, sort of a carbon copy as Casey Gregory sets her up and she gets the kill. OG not able to cover at the net. And that ball right on the back line. We get our first ace of this match. Kelly Gregory has 24 of those and we get our first timeout. This one will go to the Ottawa Glendale Titans. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. We have a spike sponsor today. It's Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. We had a lot of spikes early on, more so from the Crestview Knights. Dave, a little bit of tough turnaround for Ottawa Glenroff. We started to talk about that. They just got done playing a very good match against uh, Fort Recovery. Had a very quick turnaround to get out here and play. Quick turnaround, and then you shorten up the time between mm -hmm. matches to 10 minutes after you play your first one. So you're exactly right, Mark. They play, and you know, but they're used to this. These girls with travel uh, volleyball and everything, they play back to back. But you're right, quick turnaround right here for Figley the semifinal. Tips to an open area right over the blocker and she gets a point to double them up at eight to four and Dave we're talking about match number two in our semifinals that'll be Decatur Belmont and I see St. Henry has entered the gym so they must be our second match as that serve goes long yep see the coaching staff over there doing some scouting on this match the coaching staff from St. Henry Dayton Belmont is the number one ranked team in their division in Indiana correct that is correct they were here last year. Crestview took them down in semifinal action last year. Big hit off a blocker by Casey Gregory. And it goes to 9-5. That's a Lee's famous recipe chicken spice. This will be the libero to serve. This is Ellie Klein. She has 14 aces on the season and served that one long. It's 9-6. And the serve will be Claudia Mag. 24 aces for her on this season. Set. Figley tips it over. Bellman sets. She will set Ella White. That's blocked. Etzler gets a block and a point. Yeah, Maya Etzler, 6'2 at the net. You can't teach height, they say, uh, Mark. And right there, Etzler very effective in getting that block. OG almost was able to dig it out, but uh, Etzler with the point. Kennedy Kreider will enter to play the front row. She and... Josie Kawicki alternate front row, back row, as Alan Figley serves. White has to go get it, and then it'll be bumped over by Caitlin Kimmett. Set, and Etzler, short set through the block, 11-6, home team. Etzler and Callie Gregory on the same page. It's like they're in the same class, and they've played volleyball since seventh grade. Well, you think maybe they know each other a little uh -huh. bit on the floor, huh? They didn't have to talk, and they were communicating yeah. very effectively regardless. Tipped over by Buttlemeyer. Set to the back row to Figley, and she bangs it off of Claudia Mag. Yeah, Claudia, at the last second, had a decision to make. She thought it was going to go, well, it was, she thought it was in, and then it was going to go out of bounds, got caught in between. That will be another timeout by uh, Coach uh, Amber Miller. Uh, Dave, I, since we've been talking about spikes, and Leo's Famous Recipe Chicken is sponsoring our spikes today, this is my third chance to see uh, the Crestview Knights this year. Adeline Figley, the most improved player from last year to this year? Well, close? Absolutely. Um, you know, again, I would agree with you to a certain extent, but I remember when uh, I walked in this gym when Addie was a freshman and I said, who is that young lady? Uh, because I had not seen her play in middle school and couldn't, I, I'm, do we have a transfer in? But she has improved tremendously. As we said, she's part of the big three. But you ha also have to look at the, uh, the freshman, uh, mm -hmm. Casey Gregory, as someone who has improved throughout this season and brought a lot of versatility to this team. This team was a Final Four state team yep. last year, losing to New Bremen. And they lost one senior in Lacey McCoy. And I think they've gotten a little bit better even after losing the star in one Lacey McCoy. And right out of the timeout, right down the line goes Sienna Fry. Yeah, they go to Seven. number 25. And she hits it, that left-handed swing. It looks pretty. And she put that one down on the hardwood. From that power corner as mm -hmm. Caitlin Kimmett serves. Good serve from her. 
This hit will be by Kreider. Good set from Kimmett, and there's Fry again. Didn't get quite as much on that one. And Gregory finds the open spot, and Callie scores for her team. Yeah, Callie Gregory there again. Give her the kill off of the set. Such mental acuity. She's a physical talent, but she also understands the game, finds the open spot against that OG defense. Casey Gregory serves. OG's going to free ball it over, but kept it from being an ace. Here's the set. Gregory, and she just hit the ball into Kennedy Fuqua big time. Another hard hit. OG unable to get over and get a block up, and that back row, they took that one like, yeah. like uh, Muhammad Ali took it against George Foreman back in 74. 14-7. Fry shots blocked at the net by Etzler, and the Knights have come out playing extremely well here in set number one. And as you said, OG's going back to back. Now you're trying to mm -hmm. reach down and grab something a little bit, and it's like, ooh, this is tough. And right on the line, we chalk up an ace to Casey Gregory. Coach Miller's got to think about using her second timeout here. Gregory back to serve again. Listed as a 5-5 freshman. And at the net and waiting for the ball to get into the plane of the net, and then going straight down with us, Maya Etzler. Can't do that too quickly or you get called for being over the net. Very good discipline on her part. Gregory again, and that's another ace. 17 before today's action. She has two in this opening set. We're going to get a sub in. Number 13, Amari Young, senior, will enter for Ottawa Glandorf. They try to stem the tide here. Right. Yeah, going to go with the lineup change instead of stopping the momentum Fry. via the timeout. Gregory tips, but blocked as a net. Fry was there. So was uh, Katie, Kent, or Katie Kaufman. Yeah, great play at the net by OG right there. Just what they needed to stop that run by the Lady Knights. Now let's see if they can go on their own run right here, Mark. Fry will serve. Good serve. Gregory tips it, but cannot get the ball to the open area. It's now 18-9. You're right. The good serve set that all up. Uh, Crestview unable to make an effective pass, and they were behind the ball, if you will, a little bit, and hit it into the net. Nice job by Sienna Fry. And she serves again. Set. Gregory. And pounding it off the blocker, and a point to Callie Gregory. Breaks the string and makes it 19-9 on our Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. It's my effort to serve. And serve is short. You Nine want to put ten. pressure on with the serve, but you still got to get it in, and that time Etzler hits it in the net. That's how momentum changes a lot of times in the game of volleyball. You give the other team a free point off of a serving air. Let's see if OG can take advantage of this opportunity right here. Claudia Mag in to play the front row as Marley Buttlemeyer serves. Played by Klein, the libero. Here's Gregory, just free balls it over this time. See the Titans can use it. Sienna Fry from behind the 10-foot line gets a point. They do. Again, going to Fry, who leads them in kills. Why not? When you're down, you go to what you do best, and Fry it exhibits that talent right there on that kill. Serve again for Marley Buttlemeyer. Set. That was that touched or not? Four it hits. Not four. That ball got into the tape. Did not get touched by the Titans. So it's 19-12. Buttlemeyer to serve again. The sophomore. And the dive, dive right on the back line, so she gets the first ace we'll for see, Ottawa. Yeah, Randall. we'll see how this plays out, Mark. Again, OG may be down too much to come back and win this set, but you can feel that momentum has been neutralized, and as a result, Coach Tammy Gregory, she's going to take a timeout. That she is. Our first timeout from the uh, Knights here in set number one. Timeout for WSN as well. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Today's scoreboard sponsor is Wabash Mutual Telephone, a proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. And that scoreboard shows the Ottawa Grandeur Titans, who were down 19-9, have cut it to 19-13, hence 
Coach Tammy Gregory's initial timeout. Yeah, good call by Coach Gregory right there. Trying again, reestablish momentum on her side of the net. We'll see how it plays out. Good serve. Gregory two hands it, but she gets it right to the libero Kraus, and then free ball over by Fuqua. Set, tipped by Gregory. Did that hit the antenna? It did. Hit the candy cane, and you're right. Bailey Krause did a great job coming up to the net and keeping that ball from hitting the floor. That is an effective play for a lot of volleyball teams. Go down the line as far as the net is concerned. OG played great defense, ended up with a point. Crestview Vincent brings in number six, Nevea Ross, and the serve goes long. 2014. And back in will be Josie Kawicki. We talked about how she's on a string with Kennedy Kreider. Josie plays the back row, does the 5-5 junior, and she will serve here. And she does lead, lead Crestview in serving percentage at around 96%. Oh, and there's a block. Looks like Haley McCoy was there. So was uh, Etzler. Haley yeah. McCoy, a sophomore. You bring her in, and all she does is block one at the net. A big point for the Lady Knights. Here's Kawicki again. Claudia Mag has to free ball it over. Set. Figley out of the middle. Tips to an open area. Kraus is able to keep it alive. And then they bump it over by Buttlemeyer. A really smart play as Kelly Gregory finds the open spot in the middle of the floor. That defensive scheme, you, you leave that middle open sometimes so you can cover more ground. But a smart player like Kelly Gregory, she finds it and makes you pay. Set. And illegally contacted. It was 23-14. Crestview two points away from taking the opening set. So the timeout has played out well for the Lady Knights. They've reestablished momentum. Let's see if OG can keep digging here. Ball's tipped over. That's a nice play of, of the ball by Katie Kaufman to find a dead spot. Second ball. Yeah, second on the team in kills with 89. Like you said, Throws the change up right there and gets the point for the Titans. Here's the barrel Bailey Kraus. She hits the ball to her counterpart, Ellie Klein. Figley off the blocker. Fuqua will set again. Fry from behind the 10-foot line. Nice set. Here's Fuqua to set again. And Mag hits it off a blocker. Kraus plays it. Fuqua gets to that one. Diving stop by Figley. Another diving stop on the other side. Buttlemeyer. Good point. And OG wins a lengthy point at 23-16 on our Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. A lot of hustle out there on that exchange. Both sides playing great defense, transitioning into offense. Great volley. Good serve that time. Figley winds up and hits it, and then two hands it across. Set and tipped to an open area, but Gregory gets to that one, and then she's going to get a kill attempt. She dumps it over to Kraus. Great job by the libero. There's that dump to the middle of the floor again that she is so talented at. 24-16, set point, Crestview. What we've seen here is when OG can get a block at the net, it just helps them out tremendously, and the volley, volleys extend, and they come through a little bit. And what do we got? We got a knight in the net. The hit was by Caitlin Kimmett. The point will go to Ottawa Glandorf at 24-17. And the serve will be Kennedy Fuqua. Gregory sets up Sister. And Sister pushes the ball right to an open spot on the floor. Casey Gregory gets the final point of set number one. That will be a Titan victory, set two, coming up right after this. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Back at the Crestview Night Volleyball Invitational, sponsored by Leland Smith Insurance. Set number two today is sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. They are in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. And they are our second set sponsor here in the opening match. We're pleased to announce a new pricing for the WSN streaming service for only $8 per month. You can watch WSN from anywhere at any time. 
Sign up today at app.tv, WOSN.tv, also available on Roku and on Apple. Mark Shine, Dave Bowen here. Dave, I thought that Crestview kind of seemed like they won all the big points, didn't they, in that set? They had a big run there where they scored six in a row. And other than that, they just seemed to win the big point when they needed to. Won the big point, and every time OG started crawling back into that set, Crestview had an answer. Again, Coach Miller here, I think she's telling her squad, let's get off to a good start. In volleyball, that when at the start of that set, whoever gets to five first, that's huge. And Ellie Klein starts out by putting a ball right on the end line. And you're right, Ellie Klein gets the point right there. It was a tough decision there whether to pick that one up for OG in the back row. They let it go, works against them. They got a battle back right now. Bellman will set. Buttlemeyer gets a block. And we'll get this hit as well and a block again, but this time it's blocked out of bounds. That's to climb the ladder, but couldn't keep it in play. Yeah, and Crestview had the block, as you said, but Bailey Krauss, Johnny on the spot again in that white shirt. She picked that one up and give her, gave her team an opportunity to score a point, which they did. Tied at one. Ball is tipped. Back set fry. Bellman with a really nice back set and a good hit. Excellent Man. back set by Bellman. Yep. And for the first time today, the Ottawa Glendorf Titans are ahead. Yep. Bellman with 421 assists coming into today's action leads the squad. Tied at two. Comes Kennedy Kreider in, and uh, also entering will be. I think we brought in Marley Buttlemeyer. Yes, we did. Bigley serves to Mag. Here's Fry, Just roll shot this time. What a diving play by Kraus. And made another nice play from her knees. And that time, Buttermeyer couldn't get enough on it. It's 3-2 nights. Bailey Kraus again, yeah. all over the hardwood right now. Mark, she's my, you know, I'm, I'm a Chevy guy, but she is built Ford tough and showing <laughs> it right now. Ball's blocked. There she is again. Ball's hit off a blocker by Buttlemeyer. Gregory dumps it. Oh, Krause is there that time. And then is it touched? It was. Stickney couldn't get out of the way of it, and we're tied at three. Dodge ball, she's out. Yeah. It hit her by accident. She tried to avoid it, as you said. Bailey, Too much heat on it. Bailey Krause showing you why she's one of the better liberos in the Western Buckeye League. Senior. There's Fry to serve. Leading to them. Leading that. Undefeated season in conference play up to this point. Played in the back row by Mag, but none of her teammates could get to it. It's 4-3. Ottawa Glenner's got a huge match this week in the Western Buckeye League. They have it against an undefeated, at least in conference play, undefeated Shawnee on Thursday night. Here's a quick set. Played by Kreider. Callie Gregory tips. Buttlemeyer gets to that one. There's Fry from behind the 10-foot line, and Bigley can't keep it in play off the power hit. Big spike that time. I'll leave famous recipe chicken spike. Just like set one, we went, we're went. we going back and forth here in the early going, and then Crestview sort of stretched it out and got a 7-4 to four lead. Let's see how this set plays out. It was tied at four in the opening mm -hmm. set. Crestview went on a four-point run. Stayed in control after that of the set. Gregory tips, but Krause is there. Bellman sets. Mag hits off a blocker, and she gets a point. Back-to-back -back Titan points makes it 5-4. And Marty Buttermeyer will serve. Gregory keeps it alive, but I don't think she did so legally. Right into the net, didn't she? Yep. Pass was a little long. She tried to make a play and got into the net a bit when she did so. Two-point Titan lead. Gregory back sets to Etzler. Krauss will set. Etzler tips and right to the middle of the floor in that dead spot. 
as a coach, sometimes you want to designate a player. You're the one who dives in the middle. Other times you don't want to be that confining. As a result, unfortunately for OG, nobody went there, and that ball found the hardwood. Here's Maya Etzler in her 16 aces this year. <laughs> right on cue, she gets ace number 17. And we're tied at six. Whenever you can get an ace in an evenly matched contest, it just is so critical. Etzler comes away with one right there to tie it up. Krause will set Mag. Free ball. Great play by yep. the freshman, Casey Gregory. Again, whatever you can do, big sis, I can do. Well, maybe not do it better, yeah, but I can equal it. And she does right there with the ball going over on the second hit instead of the traditional bump set spike format. That's the serve is into the net. We're tied at seven on the Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. And Bailey Krause will serve. Bailey has 18 aces this year. Caitlin Kennett leads the team with 35. Set. This will be Kelly Gregory. Mag gets a hit off a blocker. Kelly Gregory again. And that time she scores on a Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken Spike. Again, Gregory, when you do see her from the hitting line, it's going to be on the left side more often than not, and she puts it on display right there and comes away with the point. Josie Kawicki serves. Good serve from her. Bellman will set. And the big hit was by Caitlin Kimmett, but she's not going to get credit for the spike because somebody wearing a Black jersey with red trim was in the net. If you're an OG fan, you'd like to get two points. Yeah, that's right. The kill and in the net. But well, and if you're, game just doesn't work that way. If you're Kim, you go, hey, I had to kill that. <laughs> yeah. Taking it away from me. It's like making a free throw and having somebody step <laughs> in. That's correct. OG scrambling to keep this ball alive, and Fly does so. Gregory left hands it to the back row. Here's Fry with her left hand. Puts the ball to Kalwicki. Here's a set by Klein. And Big hit by Kelly Gregory. So we see her on the right side that time. Again, a, a volley that was extended by great defense by Marley Bottlemeyer back there in the back row. Crestview tried to find a corner. She covered very, very well. And as a right-hander, you really got to twist your body around to make that play. It's now tied at nine. Claudia Mag to serve. So Crestview's momentum from set one has been neutralized here yep. in set two. We got ourselves a good old good one, as Keith Jackson would say. Figley tips. Good play by Bellman. And then Fry makes a good play. Gregory again, but that one's blocked. Right there was, I think Kimmett was there. Maybe Buttlemeyer as well. Correct. Had a couple blockers out there at the line, at the net. And whenever OG is able to execute that, again, any team that can do that, it's great. But it seems like uh, Crestview has been able to get around that block a lot more than, than not. Casey Gregory tips. What do we got this time? Double contact. Going to call the double hit on the freshman. OG led 6-4 in this set. This is the second time they've been up by two points. Crestview was ahead 4-3. They've led, it's the only time they have led in the, this set. Tip to the open area. That will be a Crestview point. And to serve will be Ellie Klein. Fry. That one was going to be into the tape, so we're tied at 10. One of the few miss hits. Me. One of the few miss hits that Sienna Fry has had puts that one in the net, but you got to keep going to her. Set. And not quite able to keep it alive on the big hit by Caitlin Kimmett. Crestview challenged on who to go with on the block. Nice set there by Bellman. You, Bellman, you had Kimmett on the left and Fry on the right. Bellman chooses the right one. They get the point as a result. Kimmett serve. Diving play by Kimmett. Dumped over by uh, Buttlemeyer. Here's Figley, and rolls along the tape, and to stay in, it did not stay in bounds. 
Just rode the top of the net too long. Out of bounds, and the, the Titans have the two-point lead. Here's Caitlin Kimmett again. See if she can get her team up three. And she does so by putting an ace right on the back line. Great serve by Kimmett right there to extend the lead to three. She has 36 of those on the season to lead this Titan team. Josie Kowicki making the decision along with Ellie Klein to let it go, but it falls in for the ace. Klein. And Etzler powers it through a blocker, makes it 14-12 on our Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. Second set here in the first semifinal match. This Web Decatur Belmont from Indiana and St. Henry playing in the second semifinal. Set and set just a bit far. And there at the net was Kennedy Kreider to make the play. And Katie Kaufman in a position that she usually isn't, and that is uh, the setting variety, and unfortunately unable to execute that to help her team out. Crespi with the point. Figley serves again. Fry just tips it with her left hand. Gregory. Buttlemeyer. And she's, they save it. What a pancake play. But it went out of bounds. Really good effort to get down on the floor and make the play. I just love how both teams, you know, the decision. Do we go with the hard hit or do we go with the change up? Just really mixing it up, keeping both defenses off balance just a little bit. A lot of fun. Sienna Fry serves for the Titans. Set. Etzler rolls it off the top of the tape, and she gets a point. A Lee's famous recipe chicken spike. Sub in. That means Nevaeh Ross enters to play on the back row. And Casey Gregory serves. Bellman, nope. It's almost an automatic yeah. call when you're trying to set from your waist area. If, if the ball is belly button high yes. or lower, mm -hmm. it's really difficult to play that legal. Legal belly button high or lower is an ace. Yep. Chalk that one up to Casey Gregory, her third of this match today. If the ball is belly button or lower, it's really hard to play it legally with fingertip action. Mary Young will enter play in the back row. Casey Gregory serves. Fry, a tip that time. Gregory sets. Esther pushes it over, and this time we get a Titan in the net. Back and forth we go. Back and forth, you are exactly right. And as a result, Coach Miller, she's yep. going to take a timeout right here. That High school volleyball is what we're watching, Mark, on WOSN. Today's scoreboard is sponsored by Wabash Mutual Telephone, a proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. And that scoreboard has crushed you up 17-15 in the first timeout of this set. We'll go to Amber Miller's team. Set, hit, big hit that time by Katie Kaufman. Crestview keeps it alive. Kaufman comes right back, and Crestview keeps it alive again, but they end up in the fourth hit situation. Makes it 17 16, so the timeout works. Yes, great offensive firepower displayed there by OG. Got Crestview on their heels a little uh, defensively. Uh, again, Casey Gregory with a couple outstanding plays there, but not able to recoup enough to be effective on offense. OG with the point. Back set for Etzler. A couple of blockers there. This set will be for Fry, and Sienna got it in. Eight ball corner pocket uh. right there. Nicely done. The left-hander from the right side of the floor goes cross court. Big point. And as you said, OG comes away with two points out of the timeout now. Such a good spike, she hit it into the lobby. <laughs> had to get a new ball in play. Tied at 17. And missed the serve, makes it 18-17. Knights. Just so critical. I know coaches, they want that serve to have some heat on it, some power on it, make it, put the defense at a disadvantage right away, but you got to get it in. Esler serves. Bellman set. This will be pushed across by Kaufman. Esler will set teammate and block. There's a good block by Katie Kaufman. 
Outstanding defense by OG at the net, and they are pumped, and rightly so, as they get the point off the Callie Gregory hit. Great block, tied up at 18. Bailey Krause will serve. And double contact, it is. Point goes to the Titans. They have won four of the last five since the timeout. Here in set number two, which is sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Good serve. That'll be an ace. Chalk that one up for Bailey Kraus. First today, 19th of the season. Coach Gregory needs to be thinking about a timeout now. She goes with a substitution. Figley in for Ross. Going to see if that stems the momentum. Kraus serves again. Another good serve. Gregory pushes to the back row, but pushed it long. Three-point lead, and that three-point lead will force a timeout from Crestview. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Our spike sponsor today is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. You can call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Right now, what is happening here is the Ottawa Glendorf Lady Titans have scored six of the last seven points to take a three-point lead here in set two. And they're going to get a shot at another point right here. It's tipped to an open area by Caitlin Kimmett. Another set, and Mag hits that one. And Gregory winds up. Mag again, and off a blocker for a point. Claudia Mag scores for her team. Mag does a nice job with the kill, but you got to give credit to the whole OG defense on that volley. They do a really nice job of keeping that ball alive on a couple of the returns, and they end up with the point, a four-point lead. It's going to be tough for Crestview to come back now. Each team has a timeout remaining here in set two. Kreider just tips it. Bellman sets, and what's the call? It is out. Breaks the string of five consecutive points scored by the Titans. So Crestview needs to go on a little run of their own here. Give themselves an opportunity. OG, oh, they want to... Stiffen up defensively and attack on offense. Kowicki serve. It is played by Gregory, tipped over by Sister. And right down, good play by McCoy. This will be Figley and got it in the corner. Eight ball corner pocket for one Addie Figley. Sienna Fry shows how to do it on the OG side of the net. Figley comes back and does the same thing later here in the set for Crestview. Cuts the lead to two. Here's Josie Kalwicki again. Set. Kimmett. Bellman will set again. This is Fry from behind the 10-foot line. That's blocked. McCoy got that one. Here's Kimmett again. And Gregory. Kelly Gregory finds the open spot on the floor, and she puts that one away. And Coach Miller, she's going to take a timeout. It's the Leland Smith Insurance Lady Night Invite. And we'll take a break on WSN as well. TV44 and WSN are nonprofit organizations supported by viewers like you. Now's a great time to make a donation of any size as a way to say thank you for this sports broadcast. Go to WTLW.com and click Donate here. Donations are accepted 24 hours a day at WTLW.com. Ace. We're all knotted up at double deuces, Mark. It's punch, counter punch in set number two. The fans are into it. It's down to a three-point game unless we go overtime. Mag. Play in the back row by Gregory. Figley hits. That was Partially blocked at the net. Here's Fry. Hits it to Klein. And Figley winds up again. Hello. She high pointed that. Great set by Callie Gregory. Goes over the block for OG to give her team a one point lead. Right. Sponsor today for our spikes is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, and Delphus with St. Mary's as well. Here's Crestview a point away from taking both sets. And 
play by the time by Kimmett. Here's Gregory, and she tipped it to an open area. Nice placement of the ball by Callie Gregory, and her team is a point away from going to set, uh, to win set number two and going to the championship match. Bailey Krause gives all the effort she can to get that one from hitting the hardwood, unable to do so. Set, Mag hits it off a blocker and it goes out of bounds. OG stays alive at 24-23. Stays alive, but you gotta stay aggressive here too. You can't be passive, even though you're down to set point, match point. This will be Figley, and she roll shots it and gets a point for her effort. You're right, you mentioned it earlier. Addie Figley, one of the most improved players for this Lady Knight squad, comes up with the set and match point. Crestview goes into the championship contest. And Dave, 22nd year of this tournament, and Crestview has never won their own tournament. Amazing when you consider this successful volleyball here has never won their own tournament. You are exactly right. It also speaks to the level of talent that comes into this Invitational every year. There are some programs. Marion Local had that string of years where they were winning state championships. Norwalk St. Paul is here. It seemed like Norwalk St. Paul and Marion Local would play here, and then they'd play each other in the state championship game. Concordia Lutheran from Fort Wayne, a juggernaut for a period of time. But you're right. Crestview stays alive. They have a chance to win their own invite for the first time. Well, you can see on the floor Decatur Belmont from Indiana and St. Henry from the Midwest Athletic Conference. They're warming up. That will be our second final match today. We'll be coming up right after this, and you're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Semi-final action number two from the Crestview Knight Lady Invitational. 22nd annual tournament sponsored by Leland Smith Insurances here in the Crestview. And our match here in the second semifinal, the Decatur Belmont Braves. Day of a 24 and two record. Yes, Dave Bowman, that is 26 matches they have played already. In fact, they have played 78 sets of volleyball already in their season. And they are matched up with the number three team in the state of Ohio. That would be Trisha Rosenbeck's St. Henry Redskins, who are 14 and two. Well, Dave Bowen, interesting matchup. You saw some of this Belmont team earlier today. I've seen St. Henry earlier. Give us a little report here on Dayton Belmont, or well, Decatur Belmont. Well, Decatur Belmont is an outstanding program just across the state line from here in uh, Crestview land. And they just do it the right way over there. They were a Final Four participant in the state tournament last year in Indiana. We welcome them over here to this Invitational. And again, they have done nothing but make it that much better. You're gonna wanna look at number one, Mary-Kate Scheiman, an outside hitter, as well as number nine, Delaney Lawson. And their setter, Haley Cole, the senior at 5'10", is outstanding, number 18. Opening service, this will be by Morgan Bomber and hit, that was hit was by Delaney Lawson. And Chloe Gells lines up and Chloe Gells has the first point for St. Henry. And Chloe Gells, she leads St. Henry with 176 kills on the season up to this point. Gets one right there. 5'10 senior. Here's our service again by Morgan Bomber. Here's the libero plays that one and well, that ball ended up on the side of the Braves, didn't it? 2-0. You saw the hit by Delaney Lawson. 6-1 going to Utah State, you said. Utah State to play volleyball. Ball serve goes into the net. It's 2-1 early on. I just think this is going to be an outstanding match between these two high-quality programs. Again, we are very familiar in Northwest Ohio with St. Henry. And again, it's nice to have Belmont join us. This will be played over by Busher. Here's the set and tip to an open area by Lawson and that will fall on the floor. We'll tied at two. Belmont's on the right side of your screen in a white jerseys with blue trim. St. Henry is on the left side in red with black shorts. Ball's hit and blocked by Fallenkamp. And from the back row, that attack was by Morgan Bomber. Here's the set from the libero. 
played by Tiemann, and then tipped to an open area and picking up the point is Ellen Follenkamp. Follenkamp does yep. a great job of finding the hardwood. Belmont with just one player in the back row. Everybody up around the net to take a deflection off a block, but Follenkamp finds the point on the Belmont side of the net. Here's Ryan Busher, the libero, and both liberos wearing gray jerseys in this set. There's a big hit. And Gels will hit that ball, played in the back row, and tipped over. Here's Lawson. And we're tied at three off a good set from Haley Cole. Yeah, just a two-headed monster with Mary-Kate Scheiman, the 5'9 sophomore outside hitter on one side, and Delaney Lawson on the other. It's going to be a challenge for St. Henry. Nothing they aren't familiar with yes. playing in the MAC, but it is going to be a challenge for them to overcome that offensive weaponry presented by Belmont. Jackie Suter served that one, dumped over by Lydia Whirling, the setter. Here's Whirling set again. Glow Gels hits. Chloe Gels scores. It's 4 3. On our Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. I like how St. Henry's going to their go to player at the net. Chloe Gels, get things established with your strength. Nice job there. Here is Lydia Whirling, the setter. Played in the back row by Scheiman. Here's Lawson's hit to Whirling. This will be Gels again. Lawson pounds it down the line and missed the sidelines. It's 5-3. Missed the sideline. Good time to share our officiating crew, Mark. Mm, good job. On the ladder, yep. and Ella Brock at the net, Steve Trout, and our line judges, Kent McClure and Mary Alvarez. Whirling serves a bit long. It's 5-4. It's another piece of this invitation is, that makes it refreshing is that you go against teams that – Sometimes you don't see during the course of the year. I know we have a couple MAC schools, a couple WBL schools, but St. Henry, I'm sure they're like, hey, a breath of fresh air, somebody we don't typically match up against year in, year out. That serve was short by Cameron Jarvis. It's 6-4. And likewise well, for Belmont. Dave, there are 10 teams in the MAC, right? Mm -hmm. Seven of them are ranked in this week's state poll. <laughs> How about that? That's how good volleyball is in that particular part of the country. Big hit. That one was by Mary Kate Scheiman. It is 6-5. You got to bring your lunch pail yes, every you. night in the MAC, no doubt about it. Here's Alyssa Gumbel. We'll be in MAC country this week, Marion Local. And is it Coldwater this week, maybe? I believe Check so. That. I think that's right. It's a Thursday night match. Big hit, Molly Wendell. 7-5. Our spikes today are sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. You can call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. And so does the best sweet tea in Northwest Ohio. Mm. That serve was by Gast. Double block, and that's going to be a point. Ellie Follenkamp was there. A couple of teammates with her. 8-5. Here's Olivia Gass to serve again. The sophomore with 15 aces on the season. And got it right in the back corner. Give her another one. Coach Crawl across from the line judge. Doesn't quite agree with that goal. Thinks it's out. There's some nuances that are a little different between Indiana and Ohio volleyball. In the first match, uh, Decatur Belmont was in a rotation there. And coach said, don't we get a warning for that? And the, the Official said, not in Ohio. No, not in Ohio. <laughs> Here's a set by Gast. And off the blocker, point will go to Molly Wendell. Good run here for St. Henry. They have four consecutive points. And that will take a timeout from the Decatur Belmont Braves. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Back at Crestview, where tonight's scoreboard sponsor is Wabash Mutual Telephone, a proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. And early on, doubled up for the favor of the Redskins, 10-5. Again, Belmont, they're an outstanding program. They've got, the, they've got it rolling over there. But right now, they've got some adversity here going against St. Henry. We're, it's going to be interesting to see how they respond here, Mark. Here's Olivia Gast has served three consecutive points and will serve another ball. That goes right on the back line, and it's 11-5. She's had two aces in this rotation out of her four serves. 
As you mentioned, the records earlier, 13 and 2, 15 matches overall for St. Henry. Belmont with 25, 26 matches already. Slide play that time, got a shot by Los. Ball's pushed over by Bomber. Here's the set, tipped to an open area by Scheiman. Set. Bomber gets another hit. This will be Scheiman again. This time, what happened? Got it in. Had to wait for the call from our line judge. Yep, and I think there was a touch at the net as well. Big, just a huge piece of the, the, the set here right now as far as how is Belmont going to respond. You're going to see a really tough serve here by Cole. That would be correct, and she just chalked up an ace. She had 26 of them before today, but if you look at their numbers, Dave, they go 34, 28, 26, 26, and 20. So their service this year has been outstanding and very well balanced. <laughs> well, you know what? That was a really nice play by Jackie Suter. Unfortunately, it yep. wasn't legal. Nope. Because the ball just hit the top of the tape and came back to her. It's 12-7. And the serve will be Lauren Tiemann, the junior. 14 aces for her this year. Cole runs a long way to get to that one. Good save, but not able to keep it in play. It goes to 12-8. Put the Redskins on their heels a bit. Scheiman to serve again. Mary Kate's a 5-9 sophomore. Yep, good transition from defense to offense for Belmont there. They come away with the point. And she missed the sideline. It's 13-8. Great read by Morgan Bomber there for St. Henry. Right, had her foot right on that line and said, that's to the left. I'm going to let it go. They get the point. Bomber serves and got an ace. Got it in the back corner. He's 14-8. Good physical action there with the serve. And then as a result, Belmont's going to take the timeout. Down six. It's Leland Smith Invitational Volleyball at Crestview right here on WOSN. Each set today is sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. You can call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. And in set number one, St. Henry is taking a 14 to eight lead. Hence, Coach Craig Call has called his second time out here in this set. And they go right to Lawson, who pushes the ball. However, she pushes it to, T to Tiemann. And we have a Belmont Brave in the net. Makes it 15-8. Morgan Bomber, how about these numbers, Dave? She got 89 kills, 38 ass uh, aces, 9 assists, 147 digs. Just does a lot of things for a sophomore for this team. There she is again. Whirling dumps it over. The libero sets and Lawson hits. That's blocked. And that point will go to Ellie Fullenkamp, the junior at the net. Yeah, great job by Fullenkamp right there. You're right about Bomber. With those numbers, she leads with aces and is second on the team in digs. Here's her float serve this time. The libero has to come and get it. Kristen, there's Bomber again. And she's going to get a hit from the back row. That goes long. 16-9. She served three points right there. And St. Henry's had runs of five and four in this set. Yeah, they're just clamping down on Belmont, not giving them any opportunities. Belmont's going to really have to work hard to tem, uh, stem the tide. Whirling sets. Gels. Gets stay in bounds. It did, didn't it? 17-9. So St. Henry's been in control here in this set. 14-2, and 5-1 and one in MAC play. Good serve, skims the top of the net, Cole sets. Good play by the libero, Busher. This is gonna be a set by Kristen, the libero. Bomber again, and Gels just tips it over this time. They're gonna set from the back row, Scheinman hits and gets a point. 
She comes flying through, as you said, from the back row, leaves behind the 10-foot line, but strikes the ball close to the net. Athletic move gets the point to Belmont. Jackie Suter will serve this ball. And she served it wide. It is 18 now. And Whirling will serve. And she got it just a bit wide. 18 11. Yeah, the last two serves, one from each team, just trying to be a bit too fine, Mark, and unable to get the ball in play. Here's Kate Mills to serve. Katie is a 5'6 junior. And overpass. Whirling keeps it alive. That was a really difficult play, and she did it well. Here's a set by Busher. And winding up for the big hit that time was Wendell. Busher plays it to Whirling and the set. Wow, a big hit by Carly Busher. That's a Lee's famous recipe chicken spike. Absolutely, no need to go to the tool chest because she brought the hammer already. It's on display. I just like St. Henry's movement defensively, just really covering the court very, very well. Gell serves to the back row and Chloe Gells is gonna get an ace for 17th of the season. 20 to 11. St. Henry has just done an outstanding job of neutralizing the strengths of Belmont here in this first set. Another good serve by Gells, racks up another ace, and they've got him a 10-point lead. Second Gells ace in this service rotation, back-to-back -back for her, 21-11. Going for three. And hitting along that time is Mary Kate Scheiman. Overcooks that one, tries to go in that corner pocket. And they've got him doubled up at 22-11. The winner will get Crestview in our finals match today. Uh, Belmont's nonverbals, little negative out there. They haven't been in this position very often this season with only two losses up against those 24 wins. Yells went for the back corner and missed that one. A lot of serve. Uh, uh, re risk reward type things in the Mac. And uh, she missed time she missed after a couple of aces, but it's still a 10 point lead for her team. Set by Busher. This will be Bomber to hit. Cole sets, slide play. Los Los missed it. There's Cole again. This time she's going to hit, and she gets a point out of it, does Haley Cole. And she does have 100 kills on the season going into today's contest. Takes advantage of the opportunity to go over the net on two. Gumble serves. Whirling sets. And Balmer off the net. Good diving play. Keep it alive. Tip that time was by Busher. And from the back row, there's a big hit. Chalk that one up to Jackie Suter. Yeah, Belmont likes to use that hitting coming out from the back, back row situation right there. It works for them to cut the lead to eight. Here's Alyssa Gumbel again. Whirling sets and got it out. Molly Wendell tried to go to the back corner, couldn't find it, and it's 22-15. Four consecutive points for the Braves as they try to climb back in this one. And somewhat of an easy call for the line judge, Mary Alvarez, because it hit her. And she's out of bounds. A, she better be. <laughs> <laughs> Whirling sets. Ball is tipped to an open spot. Good job by Carly Busher to find the open area and end that string. Yeah, you know, St. Henry, that time they go with the change up. But overall, I'd say they're about 80, 85 percent. Let's hit it hard, 10 to 15 percent. Let's try and find the open spot with a soft hit. Both have been effective in this set. There's Olivia Gass, who's got two of the five aces in this set. That's blocked. Good block. Ellie Follenkamp has been patrolling, patrolling the net very, very well in this set. Got a block there, and we are at set point here in the opening set. Gass to serve again. And 
Backs them up, puts them on their heels. Here's Scheiman. That one's blocked by Follenkamp. Cole sets again. Whirling pops the ball up in the air. Bomber hits. And from behind the 10 foot line is Suter. And nice hit. Really nice set to Ellie Follenkamp. She had a wonderful first set, and her team will take the opening set. 25 15 here at Crush You. Set number two coming up right after this. Watching high school volleyball on WOSN. We're back at Crestview, and we are at the Leland Smith Insurance's Lady Night Invitational Volleyball Tournament, the 22nd version of that. Set number two today is sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Mark Shine, Dave Bowen. Dave, that was a very impressive performance by St. Henry in that opening set. Sure was. Uh, St. Henry, very, very impressive with their ability to play outstanding defense. They cover so well. The ball just doesn't hit the floor on their side of the net. And then they transition into offense so effectively to put pressure on you. And Belmont, they, they had to handle that pressure in the first set. Coach Crawl has got to come up with a game plan here in set two. You're trying to find some openings on that defense for St. Henry. Coach Crawl's trying to do it right now. Coach Gregory, who's in the championship game with her Lady Knights, is giving more attention to St. Henry, obviously, after that first set. She's over there with her coaching staff trying to do the same thing. Dave, you talk about how good you are defensively. Belmont scored a total of five points on service. Exactly. You know, and three yeah. of them. Uh, three of them came on one uh, service rotation. Mm -hmm. they, they were just so good defensively, and as you said, and serve, receive, and then do, doing something with that service been outstanding. And let's see what happens as we go to set two here, sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. We get the libero, Sammy Kristen, to serve first. And Fallenkamp, who had a really nice opening set. Tried to put that one down. You're going to get another opportunity, and this one went long. Great effort there on the spike. Just goes long. Also great effort by Haley Cole. She went down and kept that one from hitting the, the floor for Belmont. Gives her team the point. All of the officials wearing Crestview, or excuse me, St. Henry red and white, thought that was in. Missed that one, too. It's 2-0 right away. It's a tough, tough job, the line judge. Yes, and, it is. And, you know, and you really... Um, appreciate that when you watch college volleyball on TV and how many times they go to the monitor and everything. Uh, man, that ball is flying along that line. 2-1 on the missed serve as Morgan Bomber will drop back to serve. 5-6 sophomore. Got an ace in the opening set. Lawson hits that one. Didn't get a good opportunity to go after that one. Whirling sets. Chloe Gells gets it blocked. Whirling pops it up in the air. That one's blocked at the net. That one's blocked. Whirling got it. That wow. One. Talk about reflex action. Here's Gells. That one's blocked with a play by Busher. Gells again, just roll shots at this time. Here's Lawson, tips it to an open area. Whirling dumps it over. Cole hits it over. What a point this is turning out to be. Gells bangs it off a hitter. Belmont had the brick wow. wall up there throughout that volley. Tremendous block. St. Henry kept recovering. And then the Redskins, they find a crack in that wall, blast it through the block for the point. Spikes are sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken today. And they got their money's worth on that one. There's a kill. That one will go to Alyssa Gumble. As it's 3-2 Belmont. Yeah, Gumble not... Uh, a stranger to the kill line as she has 118 for her squad There's coming Jackie's, into today. Jackie Suter, whirling sets. Fallen Camp just has to tip that one over and gets a point for her effort. We're tied at three. Again, there's that change up we see from St. Henry. They don't use it very often, so you're not planning for it defensively. Makes it that much more effective when it does come to fruition. Raya Busher will serve this one. Left-hander floats it over to her counterpart. Lawson, did that get over? It did not. St. Henry scores on that one at 
Really good piece of officiating. See Steve Trout on the floor signal to his partner, making sure they were on the same page. Really good job. A really good official. That ball's tipped and open there by Cole. How about a play? But if Busher gets to it, there's Kristen, Kristen making a good play and double contact. Haley Cole doesn't have many of those on her ledger. She is no. an outstanding setter, soft hands, but on that particular play, she did have that ball spin a little bit coming out of her hands for the air. Brad Busher serves. Set. Whirling tips it to the back row. And Lawson bangs it off a hitter, and she gets a point. Yep, and give Cole the assist. It was just a little bit phenomenal. Not a little bit. It was phenomenal when I looked at how many assists Cole has at this point in the season. Again, 26 matches, but 754 coming into today. That's impressive. Here's Whirling to set, and... Not able to get it over the net was Carly Busher. So we're tied at five. So in the early going here of set two, Belmont has responded from that first set loss to St. Henry, realizing they are in for Donnybrook. And an ace Donnybrook right there, Dave. Yeah, you, again, that's something we just don't see happen on the St. Henry side of the net very often. It was a decision yeah. by number one. Chloe Gels, and unfortunately didn't work in her favor. That went uh, to Katie Mills. She and Haley Cole have the only aces today for the Braves. Gels hits it in two blockers, and Cole hits it long. And she was frustrated with herself because she got one that she normally puts away and just hit it long. Yeah, no doubt about that. She, definitely a little frustration exhibited by Cole. Takes advantage of that nine times out of nine. Lydia Whirling, the senior setter, she has 492 assists in their 15 matches today, before today. And is it tipped out of bounds? It was. Right there at the net was Mary Kate Scheiman, and she was not able to control it in the play. I think that St. Henry Redskin coming up on the net just surprised her a little bit, and she said, oh, I got to push it, and she did, but unfortunately, it went right out of bounds. Christian Rosenbeck's team has just two losses on the season. From behind the 10-foot line, but unable to score that time was Jackie Suter. It is 8-6 Redskins. They led by as many as the 11 in the opening set. They're up two in this set. Float serve is going to be short, 8-7. A collective groan from the St. Henry yeah, crowd correct. right there. A little bit because we're at that point where the set, it's teetering a little bit. St. Henry sort of putting their, you know, foot right on the, the throat. But unfortunately, they give Belmont a chance to bounce back right here. Here's Alyssa Gumbel's serve. This will be Wendell. Molly's ball is played by Cole and got wow. it over. And then the power hit by Cal Carly Busher off the good set makes it 9-7. Busher with 81 kills it, coming into today's action. Last one into the block there comes away with a point. Well, you talked about the points that Chloe Gells and Ellie Follenkamp score, but a lot of other people have really solid net play and points as well. And that's going to be a kill. Put that one away for Mary Kate Scheiman. Yeah, 9-8. I'm sorry, you look at Busher and Fullenkamp and Gels. They're the big three at the net for St. Henry with the predominant number of kills. Cole serves. Good over serve. Bomber hits. Good play in the back row that time by number 10, Mills. Busher sets. Bomber hits that one. Here's the libero. Kristen sets that ball and got it in. Scheiman's back-to-back hits, ties it at nine. Yeah, Scheiman goes eight ball corner pocket right there. Cross court, no defense in the way of stopping that one for St. Henry. Thought Mary Kate started a little slow today, but she is coming around this set, and that serve missed at 10-9. Scoreboard sponsor today is Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. Shows 10-9 in favor of the St. Henry Redskins. Olivia Gast in the serve for St. Henry. Set. Shyman hit that one. 
She has uh, come around, Dave, in the last several points. She's got some good sets that time from Haley Cole, and she's done something with them. And now Mary Kate gets to serve. Yeah, Cole can go get it as a setter, but the defense, uh, the passing from the back row up to Cole has been much more effective here in set two compared to set one as well. Good play by Balmer to keep it alive off the net. And that ball was hit by Lawson for a point. Lawson with the point of the set across court from Cole. Cole, uh, she's going to college to play athletics as well, but not in a volleyball uniform. She's going to go to Trine Univer University and play hoops. Wendell, good play by Kristen. And we got double contact. We do. Now, Dave, just like a lot of people have trouble saying Guardians instead of Indians, mm -hmm. I have trouble saying Trine instead of Tri-State. Uh, yeah. It was always Tri-State to me. We're old I, school. We yeah. are. Mm -hmm. Here's Lauren Tiemann to serve. We're tied at 11. Great school up there in Angola. Yes, it is. Save, whirling sets. And putting that away is... Ellie Follin camp. The team goes up 12 11. Ellie's a six foot junior. Nice mixture of juniors and sophomores all on this team for Coach Rosenbeck. And serve misses by Tiemann. They're tied at 12. Halfway through set two, all knotted up. Looks like it's going to go down to the wire and not surprised at all. Let's see how it plays out. Sammy Kristen, the libero, serves, and she's going to get an ace. 13-12. She had 28 aces. Of course, you got to look at that 76 sets you play, too. You got, obviously, uh, maybe a third more opportunities to get those than Ohio schools have at this point in time. Cole nice saves that Cole, one, yeah. yeah. And then Lawson hits. Busher saves that one, but not in play. So what we're seeing here in the second set from, from Belmont is showing St. Henry a little bit of their own medicine in the sense that they're doing a great job covering the floor. And with that, Coach Rosen, Rosenbeck's going to take a timeout. We will as well watching high-quality volleyball here on WOSN. Our big spikes today are sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. For the first time in set two today, Decatur Belmont has taken a two-point lead at 14-12. Hence the timeout by Coach Rosenbeck. And Sammy Kristen will serve again. Busher has to set up Balmer, and Balmer hits it to Lawson. And from behind the 10-foot line, in. Looking for a call, it is. Here's Mary-Kate Scheiman again. That's a nice job from the back row going to the corner. Four consecutive points. Whirling tips and gets a point and breaks the string. Love those setters who can use that left hand. Yeah, she does a real nice job there getting that point and stemming the tide for St. Henry. Now let's see how they battle back down two. Morgan Balmer to serve. Lawson has to back up to hit that one. And good eyes at the net and a play by Ashley, Ashley Gumbel. 16-13 in favor of the Braves. They have scored four consecutive points in this set. They did that once in the opening set. Here's Gels. Lawson, and that one's blocked in the stay in bounds it did. Follenkamp with another block. Tough call right there. Delaney Lawson thought that ball went out of bounds as she did intentionally did not try and get it off of her uh, spike in the block, but it falls in. Point for St. Henry. In the opening set, St. Henry had a run of five and two runs of four. They have not had more than three consecutive points in this set. And they're not going to get one this, right, this time either as it's 14-17. Boston's going to take a break. She will be replaced by Katie Mills, a little front row, back row trade-off. 
Belmont up three. Whirling sets. Gels elevates. Again, St. Henry's so effective when they can get a nice pass up to Whirling, and then she can deal dimes as a setter. Chloe Gels has springs. That young lady can get off the floor. And then when you can do everything right technically, it just is that much more personified. Great Whirling hit. Whirling serve. Cole sets. Off a blocker, that point will go to Gumble. 18-15. The Braves trying to send this to set three. As Alyssa Gumble will serve. There's Whirling set. Wendell. She got under that one, yes, her elbow, did. and she didn't hit it at the high point. Overcooked it, goes out of bounds. Sometimes that happens. That elbow just did not get up over and have, have her hand get on top of the ball. Sails it long. Gumble will serve again. And out. Great read by the St. Henry back row to let that one go. Big point for them. And those girls on the bench over there, they were all yelling out. You know, we're not over here to eat popcorn, and, exactly. and we're up here to help our team. Uh-huh. Gell serves. Dives one in, and ace for Chloe Gells, her third of the day. Two quick points for the Redskins. Cuts the lead to two. Here's Chloe Gells again. Another good serve. A big hit that time by Scheiman. Yeah, Scheiman, the sophomore at 5'9". They go to her just as much as they do to the senior, 6'1", Delaney Lawson. Mary Kate Scheiman has had a wonderful set two. Here's Haley Cole to serve. Overpass. Good job by Wendell to get to that one. Another good block at the net. I think that block was by Suter. Yeah, I believe so. And it's interesting, Haley Cole, she switched her serve the last time, focusing on getting the ball in. Let's go, she goes to that hard one. Nope, she's gonna stay down on the floor a little bit more just to get it in. Whirling sets, that's that one. Hit over by Busher, Carly. And illegal contact, we do. Tough one, because St. Henry had a great dig right there. Hard hit spike, and Coach Kroll is going to take a timeout. Up five, Belmont with the timeout. TV44 and WS Center, nonprofit organizations supported by viewers like you. Now is a great time to make a donation in any size as a way to say thank you for this sports broadcast. Go to WTOW.com and click Donate here. Donations are accepted 24 hours a day. Visit. WTLW.com. Lots of good stuff going on in MAC volleyball this year, Dave. We talked about those teams that were ranked in the state, the top seven teams. They have won 84% of their non-conference matches. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Take, they take the whole conference as a whole. They've won 74% of their non-conference matches. And sometimes... They have played each other in situations like here where they get into a tournament somewhere. A non-league exactly. non -league -league encounter, if you will. The, the top, uh, what, six teams in the NWC have won 79% of their non-conference matches. So Crestview's having a good season, but so a lot of other teams in the NWC. Here's a set. This will be Balmer. That ball's blocked back. Willie's going to set again. This will be Gellis from behind the 10-foot line. Cole with the dig. Kristen has to play it over. Here's Whirling set. Bomber hits it again. It's blocked, but it's blocked. Out of bounds. So Delma unable to turn that one in on the block. Bounces out. Cuts the lead to four. So the second timeout in this set by Trisha Rosenbeck. Breaks the string. And now they trail by four as Olivia Gass serves. Cole sets. And... Ball's hit out of bounds. It will go to the Braves, and they now have another five-point lead, and they're two points away from taking this set. Shyman serve. Fallen camp. And we get a Brave in the net. 
Yeah, for a second I thought they were saying the ball hit the hardwood first before the libero won. Sammy Kristen got to it, but nope. Belmont was in the net, cuts the lead to four. Lauren Tiemann turned to serve for the Redskins. Cole. Whirling has to go get that one, so Busher will become the setter. Ballman tips it around the antenna. Really good play by her. Scheinman from behind the 10 foot line to Busher. Here's Ballman again. Ballmer missed the back line. And we are at set point Braves. And Sammy Kristen, the libero, serves. And she floats, serves an ace to take the set. So she goes with the change up, the soft serve. Belmont gets the set win. It's punch, counter punch. We're going to three, Mark. That we are. Set three coming up right after this. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. We're back at Crestview, and we are here in the second semifinal match. This third set will be sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. You can call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Day pretty impressive performance, I thought, in set number two by the Decatur Belmont Braves, and I think Mary Kate Scheiman had a lot to do with that. She did. They went to her at the front row, the back row. Uh, Haley Cole found her, and she delivered. And Again, you've got two programs here having outstanding years, outstanding records, punch, counter punch, and they're both playing with a lot of confidence. I don't know who's going to win this uh, third set, but I know both teams are going to walk off this floor having gotten better as a result of playing each other. And then we will take a set off while they have played the consolation match, and the winner will come back and play Crestview. Our final match that we will have televised for you here today on WOSN. The WSN Scores app is new and improved. Download the brand new app from your app store so you don't miss any of the favorite team scores. The new WSN app replaces the old app, so make sure you download it and stay up to date on all of the scores. And to serve here in the beginning of set number three will be Morgan Bomber. And Morgan, nope, good play by Cole to keep it alive. Thought he was going to get an ace out of that. Whirling sets. Follenkamp pushes it to the back row. And good play by Busher. Here's Gels, and she hits it to the back row, and Chloe missed the back row. Good point for St. Henry. <laughs> if you can go at Haley Cole with that first hit, that takes her out of her strength and their team strength of being a setter. And unfortunately, uh, St. Henry was unable to come up with a point after doing so, but that's something they're going to continue to look to do. We're tied at one. Yeah, you look at the Decatur Belmont Braves stat page, and you mentioned Haley Cole with 754 assists on the season before our tournament action today. The libero, Sammy Christian, was second with 93. Now, that, that's a good number for a libero, but it shows not a lot of other people getting those opportunities. And what do we got? We got St. Henry in the net. Yeah, you're right, Mark. 2-1. And, and then Cole also has 234 digs. We're starting to wonder, yep. is Indiana volleyball different? You can get the dig and then set it to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. Here's Kristen to serve. Her team's up 2-1. Gels hits. And Schumann, or Scheinman from the back row. And from the back row is Bomber. Cole will set again. Wow, what a hit out of the middle on a... Hit by Alyssa Gumbel. There's a Lee's famous recipe chicken spike. Yeah, Gumbel goes straight down. That ball was right at the 10 foot line. St. Henry unable to come off the block on the short set. Whirling will set. Oh, Cole made a play on that one. A good hit by uh, Carly Busher. Cole made a diving attempt to keep it alive, and the ball will go back to St. Henry with Lydia Whirling to serve. Yeah, we mentioned it earlier, some teams defensively, when they create that circle, when the ball's in the middle, you have a designated player to go get it. Seems like that's Cole for Belmont. Gels gets the block, and that falls out of bounds. 
Great decision, a combined decision by Sammy Kristen and Delaney Lawson to let that one go down. They both acted like they were going to go for it, then they both backed off, and it worked in their favor. Here's Jackie Suter, 5'9", senior, will serve this one. Good serve to Gels, and she will chalk up an ace. Her team leads by three. Her first ace of today. She was the leader on this team with 34. Good serve there. Cole back tips. What do we got? Ann yep. Elbrock's going to say an inadvertent whistle yep. right there. I understand. She was thinking, oh, that was the third hit. It actually was not great officiating. I, I think there was one of two things, either what you said or she was still viewing that Haley Cole was a back row player, which would have made that illegal. But she was correct. She changed her uh, uh, call. We're going to re replay the point. Good job of officiating. Whirling tracks it down. Gels to hit. Cole sets. And Lawson gets it to Busher. Raya makes a great play. Here's Gels. That one's blocked. Busher will set this one to Gels. And hits it into the front row. Keep going to your go-to player in Chloe Gels. But unfortunately, she overcooks that one. Belmont picks up the point and a four-point lead. That's a big lead in this third set. Service is long. Yeah, we probably should state, Dave, that, uh, you know, you're used to the, the deciding set in volleyball is enough set number five, and you play to 15. But in a, a three-set match like this one, you play all the way to 25. So it is 6-3, however, Belmont, now 7-3. And you're playing three sets because you're in an invitational, invitational multiple yeah. games, same day. Checking in is uh, Bree Mangin. She played some in set number two. And the server will be Katie Mills. Whirling sets. Molly Wendell scores for her team. They haven't gone to Molly on that side of court very often. Got a point out of it. Yeah, exactly. A little bit of a different look from St. Henry on that particular play. And you're right. Wendell comes through with a hard hit. 7-4 on the Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard as Gast serves. She's had a good service day today. There's a kill for Scheiman. Goes through the block to pick up the point for her team. Again, high points it. Scheiman has somewhat of what I would call a heavy arm. Comes through, the ball has velocity, but it also has just a lot of heat. It's like that ball's seven to nine pounds, but when, it, when you try to block it, it feels like it's 20 pounds. Gumbo almost an ace. Busher has to free ball it over. And she wound up in another one, didn't she? Yeah. Scheiman back-to-back -back kills for her, 9-4. To continue that analogy, it's <laughs> like in baseball. You don't think the pitcher's that, that fast, but when you go to hit it, it breaks your wrist because mm. it's just such a heavy fastball. She does the same thing. Gumbel serves. Fullicant to the middle of the floor. Scheiman tips it again. Worley has to go get that. And then Scheiman winds up and gets another one. 10-4, timeout St. Henry, timeout WOSN. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Today's scoreboard sponsor is Wabash Mutual Telephone, a proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. Scoreboard is 10 for the Decatur Belmont Braves and four for the St. Henry Redskins. Great timeout for Coach Rosenbeck right here, trying to fire up her troops a little bit, down six. Talk about somebody's rallied the troops. That's Craig Cole. You know, that first set, uh, they were they lost by 10, and they have really played much better since that particular point. Yeah, and they've really improved from set one to set two and up to this point defensively. They have covered this, their side of the court as well or even better than St. Henry has. Gumble serve. Here's Whirling set. Bomber hits off a blocker. And Cole hits. That's your where, yeah. Just big a, setter in the front row. Exactly. Heady play, mental acuity. Again, the changeup going with two hits instead of three, and she saw the open floor. I'm just amazed at setters who, who can do that so well. Yep. They're thinking about who to set it to and everything, but they're also looking at the other side of the floor to see what's available. 
Gumble with a good serve, and she racks up an ace. That one just floated into number three, Morgan Bomber. Nothing she could do with it. Tough, tough break for St. Henry. It was 7-4. It's now 12-4. Another good serve. Here's the set. Wendell. That was touched by a brave. The Bomber couldn't get it over. Six consecutive points on this service, five of them. Coach Rosenbeck talking to her staff whether to use that second timeout this soon. But right now, yeah, they've got to stem the tide any way they can. Belmont on a roll. Follenkamp has to push it to the back row. There's Scheinman with another kill. 13-4. St. Henry has only had four serve opportunities in this set. They did not score on any of them. Yeah, the mental toughness that Belmont is displaying right now, they are just attacking and being very, very aggressive. Balmer hits to the back row where it's played by Mills. Good play by Wendell to get to that one. Balmer again, but she can't get it over the net. It's a 10-point lead now for the Braves. What St. Henry did in set one to Belmont. Belmont is returning the favor right here. And Coach Rosenbeck, she's going to take that second timeout. That she is. Her team at trails 14-4. to four. Check out the, our website, wsn.tv, for scores and standings. For more sports and teams than anyone in the state, check out our broadcast schedule, upcoming games, social media posts, and more at WOSN.TV. TV. Dave, you're doing some volleyball next Saturday as well. You've got an interesting match for Army Fort Recovery down in the Indian country. Very, very uh, excited to be a part of that call for WOSN. It will be an outstanding match against, again, two quality programs from that just really unique section of Northwest Ohio and the state of Ohio in general. Next Sunday, the 8th, is when the tournament draw takes place for high school volleyball and after that you'll be able to find out what matches we are going to be covering down the tournament trail kind of a see who's hot and who's playing well and find the best matchups and cover those tournament time and each uh, season always an exciting time for ohio high school sports but right now it's a big run for the belmont braves taking a commanding lead here let's see if sanders got a rally left in him Fallen camp hit it out 15 to four. Again, Belmont just being so, so mentally tough here, playing it point by point, and not giving St. Henry any opening. Yeah, they finally break there the string, go. yep. Morgan Bomber finally got one to roll along the net and fall in, makes it 16-5. So Henry needs some points off of service here, and they will ask Lauren Tiemann to provide that for her. Yeah, rally scoring. You can't go one-to-one -one now. You've got to have a run. Cole sets, slide play. Hit it to Brant Mangin. That one's blocked. Balmer. And we got a Brave in the net that time. First time that St. Henry has scored any points off of serve here in this set. One at a time. Don't focus on the scoreboard. Focus on the play at hand if you're St. Henry Redskin. Teeman serves. Scheinman got it blocked by Fallen Camp and it stays in. Belmont talking about how did that ball fall? Ladies, we, we had a good, good up out of the, we dug it out of the block, but then we let it fall harmlessly. You want it to go to your center. Unfortunately, Cole was on the other side of the floor, couldn't get there. 16-7. Cole sets that one. Whirling has to set, so Busher comes and gets that one. Bomber hits, but she hits it to Kristen. That one's blocked by Falling Camp. Here comes another opportunity. Mangin plays it. That one's blocked. Cole got it. 
Wow, St. Henry. Yeah, St. Henry played about as well as you could for that point, and unfortunately, they don't come up with it. That just is a testament to how good this Belmont squad is, Mark. Haley Cole. Team's up by 10. Fallen camp. Suter. Mangin free balls it over. Cole. Here's the set from the libero. Kristen. What an active play. This one is. Whirling tries to tip it to the back row, but Belmont's ready for that one. And then. Kind of a miss hit by Jackie Suter. Yeah, we haven't seen her do that no. at all today. And yeah, a miss hit for Suter. Both teams defensively up around the net. The corners are wide open, but neither team could get it there. Suter with the air. St. Henry with the serve. Trailing by nine, Balmer serves. Somebody named Mary Kate Scheinman just put the ball away. <laughs> yeah, again, just so impressed. She's a sophomore. Two more years in a Braves uniform, and Coach Carl's got to be happy about that. Absolutely. He's also happy with the fact his team is up 10 as Scheiman serves. Whirling dumps it over, and Lydia finds the open spot. Great play. 18-9. Dust kicked up on that one right on the line. Couldn't have it any finer than that and work to your advantage. Now, are you saying the maintenance staff here at Crestview <laughs> leaves dust on the no, floor? No, I'm going oh, with the on. analogy for baseball <laughs> and softball. <laughs> the ball is tipped over by Lawson. Gels, and Chloe hit it out. Is it touched? It is not. Looking to see if we had a touch right there. It's 19-9. Kristen to serve. Oh, he just had to hit it over. Cole sets up Lawson. Well, that was kind of a ragged play all the way around. We've had lots of very smooth plays. That was not one of them, but the point still goes Belmont's way. They're up 11. Yeah, and ragged, but yet both teams give an outstanding uh, effort. Agreed. Yeah. Ball's hit over by Busher. Set. Suter missed that time. Again, when St. Henry can hit the ball to Cole and make her have to handle that first hit that takes her out of the setting position, and then they have to bump set or get it back over, and it's a free ball for St. Henry, they can take advantage of that. But down 10 here, they can't be too fine. No errors on their side of the Olivia net. Olivia Whirling. 21-10. And to serve will be Jackie Suter. 34 aces for her on the season. She has one today. Whirling keeps it alive. It's tipped over by Busher. And then Lawson gets a hit kill. Just a good bump set spike. Rotation there for Belmont to come away with the point and go up 12. Bit of a quiet uh, set here today for Delaney Lawson, but she got a point on that one. And Suter serves again. That 10-point run that they had a little while ago is making a difference. Wendell unable to connect on the back line. And we are two points away for sending the Decatur Belmont Braves to the finals today. Busher, long set to Gels. She did a nice job of getting to that one. Gels will get a point. Haley Cole again exhibiting the effort to try and dig that one out. And what I like about that, she knows that's my ball. Yeah. And everybody else uh -huh. on my team knows that's my ball too. So there was, there's no miscommunication. Just to hit the ceiling, came down hard, couldn't return it. Gels serves. Set, slide, tipped over. And Cole says, the ball popped over the net on my side. I'm getting the point. And that puts my team one point away from a 33-set three victory today. Hard fought three-set mm. victory. Here's Katie Mills. Whirling sets. Busher's blocked. Bomber hits. That's blocked. 
Go the other side to Wendell. Somebody got a hand on that one. Here's the set from behind the 10-foot line. Suter, four contacts. Again, great, great defense at the net by Belmont. The brick wall was in effect. And St. Henry responded, though, kept digging that block out, and they come away with the point. So Lee's famous recipe chicken spike. That one's blocked. Give Morgan Bomber the point. The team stays alive, but they trail by 11. Yeah, Bomber's just had an excellent day, hasn't she, Mark? You mentioned yes. it earlier. Great block right there. Single block at the net. Good serve. Gets him backing up. And that's going to be a four contact as the ball got into the tape. One of the few balls that Mary Kate Scheiman has missed in this says. Uh, it ain't over. Two and yeah. Three. Yeah. We'll go with the cliche. It ain't over till it's over. But man, St. Henry, I'm a mountain yet to climb. But again, forget the scoreboard one point at a time. See what happens. Serve. What a nice serve. And got it in. Scheiman might have missed the last one, but she didn't miss that one, and her team will take a 25-14 victory in set number three, and they will move into the finals against the Crestview Knights. The opening set went to Trisha Rosenbeck's Redskins, 25-15, but then the Decatur Belmont Braves got it going, and Craig Carl's team went 25-19 and 25-14, and Dave, let's kind of set that match up here while we have just a moment. We've got a really nice finals match coming up. We do. As you said, Belmont got it going in the middle of that second set, and then they never relinquished. They kept momentum on their side. They're going to look to take that momentum into the championship game of the 22nd annual Leland Smith Insurance Lady Night Volleyball Invitational against the host school, yes, the Crestview that? Lady Knights. They played each other last year yep. in this tournament. Crestview came away with the victory in the semifinals. It's going to be a tough task for Crestview. I just sense that Belmont is a very, very talented squad. It's going to be fun to watch, but hey, Coach Tammy Gregory and her uh, charges. They're not going to step back to anyone. It's going to be a fun one. D Dave, I want to do one more thing, though, before we wrap up our second semifinal match today, and that is Coach Trisha Rosenbeck's team. They're going to drop to 14-3 and three against three very talented teams, and they are in a running for a MAC championship, and this is a very nice football team. How about volleyball team? A very nice volleyball team for St. Henry. It's going to have a, a lot to say in the regular season, MAC championship possibly, and then in the tournament. Absolutely, and she's over there still talking yep. to her squad, coaching them up. Again, we said during the, the match, didn't know who was going to win it, but we knew both teams were going to come out of it having a, an opportunity to continue to improve and continue to have a great season. I expect nothing but St. Henry to continue to just – battle down the stretch here and make some noise come tournament time. So that will wrap up our second semifinal match. Belmont takes a three-set victory over St. Henry. We will have the finals of the 22nd annual Leland Smith Insurance's Lady Night Invitational. That will be coming up next. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Good afternoon and welcome back to Crestview High School. We're in the 22nd annual Leland Smith Insurance Services Lady Night Invitational Volleyball Tournament. And on this Saturday, September 30th of 2023, we have the championship match for you. The home school, the Crestview Lady Knights and the Belmont Braves. My name is Mark Shine. It's my pleasure to do play by play alongside Mr. Dave Bowen. Dave, this has all the makings of a wonderful match. Kind of set the tone for us here. Absolutely, Mark. Great to be your wingman for this championship game between Belmont and Crestview. Two teams that are having outstanding seasons. Belmont at 25 and 2, Crestview at 16 and 1. They played each other in this tournament last season with Crestview coming away with the semifinal victory. And both of these tournaments or both of these teams, excuse me, Mark, have enjoyed tournament success. The Belmont Lady Braves, state runners up the last two years. Crestview, they found themselves in the Final Four last year as well, falling to eventual state champion New Bremen. So a lot on the line as yep. far as the Leland Smith Invitational Lady Night uh, tournament here today. But overall, it's a great opportunity for both teams to play in what is a tournament-like atmosphere to prepare themselves for 
hopefully deep runs down the road here. Norwalk St. Paul has a wins today in the opening match with over Norwalk St. Paul, 25-19, 25-8, and then a three-set match in the semifinals over St. Henry. St. Henry won the opening set 25-15. Belmont came back to win the final two sets 25-19 and 25-14. Crestview, they had an opening match with Bishop Lewers, which they won 25-13 and 25-4. And then Ottawa Glendorf in the semifinals 25-17 and 25-23. As you said, Crestview 16-1. Belmont 25-2. Two. two experienced coaches. Uh, Craig Kroll in his 19th year at Belmont. Tammy Gregory in her 18th year. And Dave, she now has, what, 304 wins, going over 300 against Spencerville earlier this particular season. Our officials, Ann Elbrock is R1 on the stand. Steve Trout are R2 on the floor. And it is a championship match of this 22nd annual Lady Invitational Volleyball Tournament. This is set and hit. And that's going to be pushed out of bounds by Jackie Souter. And Crestview will have the first point of this set. Absolutely. And, and for our viewers, Belmont and Indiana mm. School, as you said, Decatur Belmont, right across the state line. Klein serves again. That hits by Lawson. Gregory sets, and Figley hits it over that time. Here's the set by the libero, Kristen. And that's going to be a point to Crestview. It's 2-0 early on. And to add to that geography piece, again, Northwest Ohio, we are um, very familiar with US 224. Well, 224 goes right through Decatur. Big hit that time by Delaney Lawson, but they're going to keep it in play. Good job by the Knights. Here's a set to the opposite side. That one's hit to Gregory. And she's going to free ball it over. They've, twice they've made great defensive plays, have the Knights from the back row. That's a big hit. Put that one away for Mary Kate Scheiman. Mary Kate Scheiman, the sophomore at 5'9. She does a lot of damage all over the court, especially from the back row. The setter, Haley Cole, along with Delaney Dawson. Those are the big three for Belmont you want to keep an eye on. Tipped an open area by. Klein and then pushed to the back row and we get a point but for Crestview they're up 3-1 early on. And again for our viewers if you haven't seen Callie Gregory mm -hmm. play for Crestview she has a lot of physical talent but she is a, a a student of the game and you saw it on display right there going to the corner putting the ball down on the hardwood. Eddie Figley will serve that ball. There's a big hit that's going to be a point you can chalk that one up for uh, Alyssa Gumble. And it's 3-2. We mentioned the big three for Belmont for Crestview. You're looking at Callie Gregory, the aforementioned Callie Gregory, along with Maya Etzler and Addie Figley. They bring it to the court for Crestview as far as hitting the ball hard and being offensive for this team. Jackie Suter's serve it goes into the net. It'll be 4-2 nights. They've been playing volleyball, Dave, since 10 o'clock this morning. A couple of breaks in between with other matches were being played, and we'll see who gets it going first here as Casey Gregory serves. Lawson hits. Gregory sets, and Etzler tips it to an open area. She got it in. Maya Etzler, so skilled as a middle hitter, making great decisions on when to hit the ball hard, when to hit it soft, when to find that open area. Does so right there, gives the three-point lead to her Lady Knights. Crestview, the number three ranked team in the state of Ohio. His back row attack, that comes from Suter, and boy, they're going to make another play as Klein bumps it over. Cole sets again, and Lawson hits, and she got it in the corner. 5-3. Does a nice job of putting it in the corner, as you said, Mark, to get the point. Crestview number three in the state in Division Four. One loss to Coldwater, a match in which they were looking at victory in set four, but then Coldwater came back and maintained momentum to Whoa, win it. Oh, big hit. Put that one away by Callie Gregory. It is a 6-3. Our spikes today are sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. You can call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. The set is also sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Good set. And in it is, going right down the line, is Mary Kate Scheiman. Yeah, Scheiman finds dynamite down the line right there. 
That's an area you usually leave a little under unprotected defensively. She finds the hardwood there. Alyssa Gumbel serves this ball. Gregory sets. Sister Gregory goes up, hits, but blocked. The setter, Haley Cole, went up in the 5 10 frame and knocked that one back at 6 5. Yeah, Haley Cole, just so diverse. She can block, she can dig, and then she goes and gets every ball that's put up there to be set. Does an outstanding job. Great hands. And is it in? It is. That ball just kind of hugged the sideline all the way down, and Alyssa Gumbel gets an ace out of it. That would be the first in. This set, we're tied at six. Ellie Klein with a tough decision right there, lets it go, works against her, but I understand why she thought it might be out. You see Gregory sets, ball was hit by Kreider Kennedy. Simon, Dave, she started a little slow in uh, the semifinal match and really came on of sets two and three, and she has picked up right away here in set one of this match. Yeah, as we said earlier, she high points the ball well, hits it at the apex, and then hits it hard, and it's a heavy ball. As you see it blast through blocks, it, it, again, it's like that pitcher that you think, well, that fastball, I can hit it, and then when you do, your hands and wrists feel like they're going to break because that fastball just so heavy. That's the way she hits a volleyball. Here's Josie Kowicki to serve. And that stay in, it did. Yep, it was hit at the net as well. So Crestview unable to block Scheiman successfully. And Belmont comes away now with a one point lead with Cole behind the serving line. Good serve from here. Klein has to play that one. And a wind up and a big kill for Figley. Tied at eight. Addie Figley, the junior for Crestview, second on the team in kills with 138 coming into today's contest. Again, she loves that left side. So technical, her footwork is exact, and when everything lines up, she hits it really hard. That serve will sail past the end line. It's 9-8 Braves. They're also ranked number one in Indiana in their division day. we got a huge matchup as we thought we might have. Here's Sh Scheiman to serve. And she gets an ace. That's been a tradition of this invitational. Top quality teams from the state of Ohio and now from Indiana as well. It's a tough tournament to win, as we know, uh, as a uh, witness to, as Crestview has never won this, their own invitational. Figley pushes it to the back row. Cole will set up Lawson. That's blocked, but it's blocked too far. 11-8. Del Delaney Lawson, she's going to Utah State to play volleyball to further her education as well, the 6'1 senior. Simon to serve again. Casey Gregory tries to push it to an open area and gets away with it. Lawson made a dive for it, but couldn't keep it in play. Yeah, and that, that hole presents itself, A, because your hitter's backing up to play defense, but also to prep themselves to be able to spike it. And Casey Gregory, the freshman, cerebral right there, finds the open area. Ellie Klein serve is a bit long. It's 12-9. And this will be the libero for De uh, Belmont to serve, Sammy Kristen. Casey Gregory hits it to Kristen. And short set and out of the middle, point for Alyssa Gumbel. With the four point lead, I think Coach Gregory's got to think about a timeout, and she does exactly that. Mark Crestview with the timeout, down four points. We'll take a break as well. You're watching Championship Volleyball Lady Night Invitational Style on WOSN. We're back at Crestview, where our first set sponsor today is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. You can call Lee's for all your catering needs. That's Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. The Belmont Braves have scored a, a, a four-point run today. They've had a three-point run. They're working on two, trying to get a three-point run right here, hence the Tammy Gregory timeout. And Kristen will serve. Almost an ace. Good diving play. And Etzler tips. Back set. And the kill goes to Jackie Suter. Boy, they got a lot of weapons. They do. Suter, the third leading killer, if you will, for Belmont, comes away with exactly that on that particular play to extend the lead to five. 
Callie Gregory sets up. I don't know whether that was going to go over the net or not, but certainly Lawson was there and brought it back down. Delaney Lawson was a little quiet in the semifinals, but she's uh, had a couple of balls she's hit really well here in the, this opening set of the championship match. Set, Casey Gregory. Good play, they kept it alive. Kristen bumped it over. Here's the set from Klein, and Figley hits it off of Kristen for a point. Good medicine right there for Crestview as Ellie Klein with the bump set to Figley in her sweet spot, the left side, cuts the lead to five. Crestview, they need to go on a little run here, Mark. They do. Addie Figley serves. Cole sets, back set, and Suter hits it to Casey Gregory. And they finally figured it out, and Kreider flew, free balls it over. And Lawson hits it through a blocker for a point. And free balls just aren't going to work in this match against this quality of an opponent. You have to be, you got to transition defense to offense, and right now Crestview being challenged to do so with any consistency. Jackie Suter serves with a six-point lead. Back set, tipped over by Casey Gregory. And I'm just amazed right now because there's Cole pushing it to the back row, but Figley gets to it. You see Gregory hit that one from behind the 10-foot line and cranking it in. Big hit that time from Mary Kate Scheiman. Belmont is firing on oh, all cylinders yep. right now. Just very impressive. As you said, they defeated St. Henry in the semifinals, a game we've done on WSN here today. Maya Etzler couldn't get that point to fall for her. It's 18 to 10. Oh, it did fall. My mistake. 17-11. I didn't catch that either. That's blocked to the back row. Simon plays it. Here's back set. What a play by Casey Gregory, but she couldn't keep it in play. Got up in the rafters and went out of bounds. 18-11. Was able, yeah, was able to watch Belmont in their first match of the day against Salina, which they won in two, and then obviously the semifinals against St. Henry. St. Henry won the first set. Belmont has had the pedal to the metal ever since that first set against St. Henry, and they're continuing it right here. Callie Gregory pushed it to the back row, and Scheinman hits it to Etzler, uh, to Figley. Here's Callie Gregory again off a blocker. And short set. Uh, we're supposed to talk about spikes, Dave, yes. and, and, and talk about how they're sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Uh, that was a spike. Yeah, and it spoke for itself. <laughs> That's a good point. 1911 Braves. And, and Belmont, what, 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 with the short set that particular time, they haven't shown that a whole lot throughout the day, but right there, the short set to get that point on the spike, uh, Crestview was not a, in a position to block it at all. Maya Etzler will serve. She had an ace back in the semifinals. Into the net from that hit from Mary Kate Scheiman. Cuts the lead to six. Well, I guess not. I got to get my eyes focused a little bit better, Dave. Well, it's our third match of the day yeah, here. How about we, that? 2012. We're, maybe we're not in condition like we thought we were, but we'll keep digging. Just like these Set. players. Block. There you see the setter, Haley Cole, a 5 10 setter. And she's going to get the block, and we're going to get a timeout. Timeout to Crestview, their second. They trail by nine. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Our scoreboard today is sponsored by Wabash Mutual Telephone, a proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. And we appreciate their support today. And as we talked about on the break, Dave, if you get a Belmont Brave team playing this well, there's not a lot you're going to do about it. Yeah, well, right now, if you're Coach Gregory and her staff and this team, you're just trying to play each point, trying to neutralize momentum, maybe find a hole in that defense someplace where, again, it's going to be tough to come away with this set, but maybe you can neutralize momentum a little bit going into set two. This will be set to Callie Gregory. That's what you do, isn't it? Yep. You need a point. That's a hole and a good timeout for Crestview and see if they can chip away a little bit. Again, a one-loss team to Coldwater. Belmont with two losses on the season. 
Crestview with a big regular season win over New Bremen early on. Shimer. Just the thing about Shimon is when she has a big hit like that, shows no emotion. It's just like, well, yeah. that's what you do, don't you? Man. Her ability to wind up her swing and get fundamentally set with her feet. Here's Figley. That's blocked. That was uh, Suter who got that block. It's 22, 23-13. Uh, I think Coach Gregory, again, it's not so much that the block occurred, but the girls have to get over there to cover to try and dig that block out, bring it back up, keep it in play. Oh. Addie Figley thought she had that opening along the tape over here. It rolled across the top of the tape and wouldn't fall for her. And with an 11-point lead, the Braves can win set one right here. Good serve. That time, Figley went hard. Overpass, look out. And what do we got? We got a Brave in the net. Nice play there by number four for Belmont, Cadence Lowe's. But as you said, in the net, give the point to the Knights. 24-14. Kelly Gregory serves. Cole sets, back set, point. Kill Mary Kate Schumann, Scheinman, and the Belmont Braves functioning on all cylinders take the opening set of this championship match, 25-14. We got set two coming up right after this. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Second set coming up. Our set, sets today are sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. You can call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Well, Dave Bowen, I'm not sure anybody can play any better than you just saw the Decatur Belmont Braves play in that opening set one. Yeah, Coach carl has got to be happy. We had the opportunity to talk to him after the Final Four during a consolation game before this championship game. Just very impressed with his demeanor and his mm -hmm. leadership of his squad and what he shared about his team. And if you're Crestview right now, Coach Gregory's got to be imploring her team to have a short-term memory. Uh, you, it's a new set. It's 0-0. Zero, zero. Uh, one of the unique and fun things about the game of volleyball. Doesn't matter what happened in set number one now. Let's come back out, reestablish ourselves, and again, let's try and win every five-point increment and see where we're at when we get to 20. It is one to nothing. It is not 25 to 14. Correct. And opening service here in this set will be by Sammy Kristen. Serve from here. Have to bump it over, kind of a miscommunication on where the hit was going to come from. No miscommunication on where that hit was going to come from because Jackie Souter put it away. And that's exactly what you're going up against. You have to be almost perfect on your side of the net because Belmont, they are just in, an emo in a mode right now that they're taking advantage of every mistake you make. Sammy Kristen will serve. That hits by uh, Figley. Lawson. But Klein's able to get to that one. And they're pounding one away is Addie Figley. Yeah, tied she, at one. Again, on that left side, she goes down the line. She has the option of the line or the, the corner, sees how the block's being set up. Does a great job. Dynamite down the line, point for the Knights. In the opening set, Crestview only scored two points off of service. Let's see what happens here. And it's out of bounds, so that will be a point, Knights. to one they lead. They led three to one, they led six to three, and then the roof kind of fell on him in the opening set. Back set. And unable to connect going down the line was uh, Jackie Suter going cross court, I should say. We talk about volleyball being a game of momentum. Crestview trying to grab it here a little bit in set number two, up three to one. Oh, just missed the back line, 3-2. That looked like it was going to be an ace, just didn't die quite fast enough. Another thing I like from the Crestview squad after that first set, the team gathered together on the court to talk about it without the coach present. Did a nice job, leadership from Gregory and Etzler, the seniors. Chalk that up as an ace. We're tied at three on the ace by Jackie Souter. 
And I like that that bond with the, the girls' leadership from within the team. That's positive. That that was the first set loss for Crestview since back on September 11th against wow. Parkway. They had not lost a set in the interim some 10, 11 games. Good serve. And Lawson hit it in. She kind of mishit it a bit, Dave. I think if she'd have made full contact, it would have sailed out of bounds. Yeah. But ball ended up on the sideline and falling in. Worked in her favor. You're right. It wasn't that crisp bang from hand to, to ball. It was a little bit more like hitting a pumpkin. But she reaps the rewards regardless. Callie Gregory hit that one to Kristen. And a quick set, but a play by Callie Gregory. And we have... A brave in the net, 5-4 Crestview. Nice play by Kennedy Kreider right there, getting that ball up and over the net in order for the air to occur on the other side. Crestview gets to five first. They got to keep digging. We're tied at five after that serve. Crestview has matches coming up this week at Delphus Jefferson and Ada at home. In the Northwest Conference play. Here's a serve by Gumbel. And Callie Gregory has a roll across the line. Was it tipped? It was not touched. It just laid on the tape too long and falls harmlessly outside of the red line. Mary Alvarez on the call. Kent McClure, our other line judge for today's championship match. 6-5 Braves. Good serve. Wow. A lot of top spin on that one from Gumbo and just died. Their team leads by two. This is where they started to pull away a little bit in set one. It's going to be imperative for Crestview to, to dig in here and try and not let Belmont run away and hide. Callie, Casey Gregory will set. Callie will tip. And Cole hits, but it's blocked. Nice block, Haley McCoy. The sophomore, number 21 for Crestview. The single block at the middle gets the point, the stuff block. 5'10", sophomore way to play. Here's Josie Colwicki. Cole sets, wind up big hit. Shyman went through two blockers out of bounds. Again, Haley Cole with a lot of options as the setter. She can front set, back set, short set. We've seen them run some slides. And this, yeah. this top spin serve, she got a dandy too. Mm -hmm. That's kind of not her, her ace point, right? It's not her fastball right there. Gregory tips to the back row. That's tip. Gregory dumps it over. It's Cole to play it. And then off a blocker, a point for Jackie Suter. 9-6 Braves. As Haley Cole will serve again. Going to try to play basketball, Coach tells us. Yep, we'll see what she does here. If she goes, nope, going to stay on that low regular serve. Bigley tips it to the back row. Defense is ready for that one. And this has kind of become Jackie Suter's set, hasn't it? It sure has. And again, Haley Cole with just such a great set. She put that ball out. The ball did not move at all. Timeout, Crestview trying to stem the tide. It's 10 6 Braves. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. We mentioned many times here in this set about the kill play of Jackie Suter at the net. Our kills are sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Some great sets from Haley Cole, some good passes from her teammates, and Haley Cole will serve again with a team leading by four. To Figley they go. Her shot is blocked the net, but she gets a point out of it. Very important point. Yep, yeah, very important point for Crestview right there. Coach Gregory calling that timeout prior to that point occurring, sensing her team was in the Kenny Loggins danger zone a little bit. See if they can keep coming right now. Suter's hit. Klein was not able to control it. 
And it's 11-7 on our Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. Yeah, Jackie Suter, as you said, Mark, this is her set. She just yes, keeps pounding away. And Haley Cole, hey, she's going to go to the hot hand. Why not? Seven out of the last nine points have gone the way of the Braves. Diving play to keep it alive. Cole tips. Lawson hits. And that is why she is going to Utah State to play volleyball. Again, the demeanor of the Belmont Braves after a big kill. It's just like, yeah, we've been here before. This is what we do. And that just seeps of confidence. Nothing wrong with that. Diamond to serve. 8-12 now. Press Crestview sends Ellie Klein back to serve. And hit long. Crestview scores off of service, something they've not done a lot of today in this match against the uh, Belmont Braves. And they've got to start doing that now. you, you got to go two for one. Tipped across, but Gregory gets to it, and it's tipped by Etzler. Nice job by Maya Etzler right there. This goes to Addie Figley. She goes off a blocker and gets a point. That's one of the few times that you've seen the Braves kind of look at the ball, not quite sure who's going to play it. Yeah, and Crestview's starting to generate a little offense here, see if they can get that I think I can, I think I can mentality growing. They've scored three consecutive points. That's the first time in the match they've done that. And I think, are we getting a four count? Let's see, what do we got? I think we have one of the Crestview Knights went under the net and across the line. 13-10. Sammy Kristen to serve. Klein will set Kelly, or Casey Gregory. Casey got to the sideline. 13-9. Oh. Wallbash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. The ball's still rolling, I think. They're looking for it. Here it comes. Addie Figley going to be behind the service line for the Lady Knights. Good save. And a block. Yeah, Etzler great block. got a block. Yep, but They're again. That, kind of clawing their way back in, Dave. They are. And that, that was just a, a one-handed set from yeah. Haley Cole. I, I just haven't seen that. That was just impressive. Put it right on the numbers, but a great block by the Lady Knights. 14-12. The Knights have scored five out of the last six points until that serve wouldn't uh, go over the net. Here's Suter to serve. Gregory runs it down. That was Kennedy Kreider's hit. And that's Lawson's hit. Can they keep it alive? They do. Casey Gregory hits it over. Tipped over by the center. Cole from behind the 10 foot line. Cole sets again. Lawson throws it this time, legally. And hit the antenna? Yep. Yes, it did. Casey Gregory hits the candy cane right there, unfortunately, for the Lady Knights because it was a big volley, and the point goes Belmont's way. 15-12. They'd gotten it to 13-12. Short set, pushed to the back row. What a nice play in the back row by Shiler, or Shiman. Gregory sets. And Klein has to free ball it. Set, Lawson hits. Klein cannot control it. It's 16-12. Again, that transition from defense to offense, whenever Crestview is unable to come, come with a hard hit or a strategic play offensively, Belmont takes advantage of it and makes the Lady Knights pay. Three times Belmont has scored three consecutive points in this set. They can convert here. It will be four points on this rotation. Set, hit. Hit Maya Etzler. And that's a that's a play right there that Crestview Lady Knight fans would like to see more of. Callie Gregory to Maya Etzler, short set. That does seem to keep Belmont off balance just a little bit. They come away with the point. Here's Casey Gregory. Serve is short. 17-13. 
This will be a, a learning point regardless of how this match turns out, but Crestview has just had too many serving errors against a quality opponent. You can't do that. you got to make the other team earn every point. Katie Mills serves. Set, hit, Etzler. And just tipped to an open area. What a nice play by Gumble. Yeah, great play by Gumble again. Belmont known as a hitting team, but they throw the change up right there. No one able to pick it up for Crestview, even with the great effort. And it goes to 18-13. Callie Gregory's going to get a hit, or Casey Gregory's going to get a hit. And I was right the first time. Yep, what? it was Callie. Yes, Callie. Understand. 18-14. Not only are they sisters and look alike, but one's wearing three, one's wearing four, right up against each other number-wise. We're going to go to number five then, behind the serving line and by Etzler. Esler serves. Cole sets. Scheiman hits. And it was long. Again, you saw Haley Cole again right there. Not the best pass to her, but she ends up making a great yeah. set. Gives her team an opportunity. Crestview comes away with the point, though. 19-15. We were talking with Coach Kroll. We said, Haley Cole could play college volleyball, couldn't she? And he kind of went, she likes basketball. But I think he 100% agreed with us <laughs> yep. on that one. Yep. Here's Gumble to serve. Joust at the net. Somebody's in the net. Looks like it was uh, number 21, Haley McCoy, 2015. And Crestview timeout. Timeout WOSN2. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Our scoreboard here today at the Crestview Invitational Volleyball Tournament has been sponsored by Wabash Mutual Telephone, a proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. And our scoreboard shows the Belmont Braves with a 20 to 15 lead here after taking the opening set. See if Crestview's got a rally left in them. They're gonna go right to Callie Gregory. She pushes the ball to Shiman and she pounds it. Casey Gregory was able to get it, then Callie hits it over. Short set. And Gregory's shot just will not go across the net. Casey setting Callie right there. Casey Gregory rolling into the setting position at times today. Uh, Emily Lickley, the second setter for Crestview, unable to be with the team today due to a family wedding. It happens, and it's made some adjustments have to occur for Crestview. They've done fine, though. Pushed to the back row by Callie Gregory. Right to Klein. Gregory again. Go to her. She scores this time. It's 21-16. In this set, Belmont has had four three-point runs. Crestview has had one. That's kind of where we're at, the difference in the, this, this particular set. And Crestview needs to make that two right here. It'd be great if they could get another three-point run. Is that touched? It was not. It was not. One of the ways you look at it, if the ball changes angles, I thought maybe that had changed angles. It did not. 21-17. Kowicki serves again. That was blocked. Give that one to uh, Callie Gregory and Hallie McCoy. There's your three-point run, Dave. Yep, yeah, let's see if the Lady Knights can continue to ride this wave, fight their way back into this second set. And that they are going to do. Neither team has had a four-point run in the uh, second set. Coach and Cole's going to call timeout. That he is. He sees his lead in the set dwindled to 21 to 19. TV 44 and WSN are nonprofit organizations supported by viewers like you. Now is a great time to make a donation in any size as a way to say thank you for this sports broadcast. Go to WTOW.com and click Donate here. Donations are accepted 24 hours a day. You can visit WTLW.com. Good four-point run. Crestview, they've got it back to a two-point deficit under the service here that we're seeing from Josie Colwicki. It's good rotation for Crestview. See where she goes with the volleyball here on this serve. Cole will set, tip. 
And Mary Kate Scheiman will get a point to break the string. What an excellent yes, play there by Scheiman. Again, we know she can hammer it, and that's what Crestview is thinking defensively, and then she comes with the, the changeup and gets the point. Here's Haley Cole to serve. Set, Figley just has to roll shot it. Set, and right in the corner. Mary Kate Scheiman, that was not the soft one, Dave. No, it was not. And again, the eight ball corner pocket, as you said, put it right there where the two red lines intersect. And that pushes the lead back to four for Belmont. Our Mary our Lee's famous recipe chicken spike of that particular effort. Stigley gets a spike. Rescue stays alive at 23-20. They're going to have Callie Gregory serve. And they need about a three, four point run right here. Sure do. Gregory serves. Cole will set. And that ball was put away by Jackie Suter. And we are at set point, match point. You're just thinking, OK, it's not Shiman. We should be OK. Or it's not yeah. Delaney Lawson. But then Suter says, ah, don't forget about me. And Delaney Lawson just entered as Mary Kate Shiman will serve. Here's a set, tipped over, and they get a point out of it. Figley just put the ball where nobody could handle it safely. Haley Cole is always around the volleyball. Always yes, she is. She wasn't going to get the first hit, but she, she went down low anticipating that maybe her teammate wouldn't be able to get it up real high, and she got a hand on it. A second set point, match point. Set, hit. Callie Gregory was able to save it. Now she gets a hit from behind the three-point line, but to Cole... Scheiman from behind the three-point line. It's a ten-foot line, excuse me. Wrong sport, Dave. That's okay. Lawson hits. Block. Give that block to Maya Epsler. The Lady Knights are still breathing. Down two. And they have saved three set point match points. Let's see what happens right here. Take an ace right here for your Lady Knight fan. Klein serves. Set. Hit, Lawson. Gregory pushes to the back row, but Kristen gets to it. Lawson, it's that one. Set, and that's just going to be free balled over. Oh, oh and it's going to fall. And with all the power we've yes. seen today, Dave, that was kind of an odd ball point to win that particular set and obviously win the match. So here in the finals of the 23rd annual, Leland Smith Insurance Lady Knight Invitational Tournament. Belmont takes 14-25 and then 22-25. Dave, that was a really an outstanding day of high school volleyball, though. It sure was. The quality teams all the way around. Uh, both of these teams in this championship match are going to grow from this experience. Obviously, the Lady Knights trying to win their own invite for the first time, get into the championship match, but... Too much Belmont, too much Haley Cole, too much uh, Delaney Lawson, too much Mary Kate Scheiman, and then you throw Jackie Suter in there as well. And they have come away with the championship, well earned, a real solid program at Belmont. Dave, I know uh, you're not going to pat yourself on the back with your longtime association here with the Crestview Knights, but uh, Austin Fleming and your entire school and your school community and your volleyball program, athletic department, you put together a very, very nice tournament here from a fan perspective, officials perspective, uh, a broadcasting perspective, and a, especially for the talent on the floor that we get to see here. Well, that's very nice of you to say, and it's great that WOSN comes to Crestview to uh, video these young ladies and put that on the air in this tournament. And again, you're right, a quality volleyball today, a great day of volleyball. Belmont, your champions. Crestview, your runners-up. And again, both teams looking to get better and have long tournament runs as tournament is right around the corner. We want to thank our sponsors today, Wabash Mutual Telephone. They have been our sponsor today of the scoreboard. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken has been our spike sponsor and also our set sponsor today. We want to thank Jacob O'Neill and Kelsey Beimer. They came to did all of the technical work today. Dave, appreciate all your commentary and your friendship today as well. And Nick Fraley will take all this back to the station and edit these three matches together for you to watch this evening. Belmont, 25-14, 25-22, and they will take the championship of the 22nd annual Leland Smith Insurance's Lady Night Invitational Tournament. 
You've been watching High School Volleyball on WOSN.